Maximus Maximus, amazing Latin name. There's a little hole on the right hand side if you hold it with a flat shell up and the hinge away from you. You can take the knife in the hole, use the two shells as a lever so it just opens slightly. Because we're using a butter knife, we're just bent in the shape of the scallop. Put the tip of the knife in the bowl shell, push it right to the back, the scallop will click open and there it's released. We now need to remove the bits that we can't eat, which are basically the filter, 70 pairs of eyes around the scallop ship. Just looking at you. And we'll remove the filter off the top just by giving it a little tug backwards. I'm going to take my knife, tip it in a clockwise action, and then cut straight through between the gut and the scallop. And then I can remove the frill off the base of the scallop, and there's the scallop clean, ready to go. Very easy process. I got a little bit of pancetta, but I could not find any serrano ham. So we'll deal with pancetta. Going to saute that nice and crispy. I got a little vinaigrette, I don't know, jus of asparagus, which I dilute with a little bit of extra virgin olive oil seasoning. And I'm going to just toss some asparagus with my pancetta there. And so it's a very simple recipe. See, fishmongers are never clean properly the scallops. So you have to always take a little bit the, the nerves here, the center, which if I don't take it off, when I cook the scallops, they will shrink. So I'm going to cut them in half, like that I can cook them very quickly. And again, I'm not going to put any seasoning. Scallops, should we start at 10 pounds, yeah. two plates? Come on, ladies and gentlemen, you've got to eat this food. You're they are scallops, the scallops are wonderful. Work for so 20, 25, 30. like a dustbin lid, you can tell it's a turbot because it's got a rough black skin, nodules on the skin. Just so you're aware, most flatfish, when they're born, start swimming like that. Yeah? And then nature suddenly says, hang on, you're the wrong way up, it turns over and sinks to the bottom and becomes a flatfish. They're not born like that, they become flatfish. The bone structure is made so that I make two cuts on the first side of the fish to get it into the spine. You can see the fillets lift up. Take the tail of the fish, insert my knife over the ridge, pull it to the front, go through the rib cage with the tip of the blade, round the back of the head, and then just lift the fillet off the top of the spine. This is an expensive fish, so we want a good yield, plus we want a happy chef. Flat fish have what we call pin bones, which are the small bones that run down the length of the fillet. Along the lateral line, there will always be some pin bones. So, because we know where this is going, well, actually, what we call V bone, the bone out the centre of the fillet, so it is a V bone flatfish fillet. And that guarantees then there's totally no bones in that fillet. So, on this one, I'm going to do, I'm going to steam it. Uh, I mean, steam, you know, is a, is a beautiful stuff to cook fish as well. You know, we can pack fry, we can do anything, but I like a little bit of, especially too, but nice and steam, which will be quite flaky. And I'm doing a little beurre blanc with an English cider. And a little shallots, a little broad beans, peas, or something summer. You could taste each different flavours, it was absolutely spot on. For details of how you can support the Fisherman's Mission, please log on to our website www.fishermansmission.org.uk